So last time uh, I played this, I was just streaming. I didn't make a video out of it, but uh, we found a bunch of crap <laughs> thanks to some help of a uh, chatter that was in our stream. Uh, but we found a good bit of stuff, made some things. We even have ourselves a little ghost companion. Let me summon her real quick. Where are you at? There she is, Abigail. Yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. The only goal we have is to get more gold so we can make a gold pick and then we can mine some demonite that I found. Demonite, that's what it's called, right? Correct, sir. But that's about it, so I think we can just get right into it. Since we've been exploring quite a lot over here, we might see what's on the left side. I'm not too sure if it's going to be anything better than the ice biome or anything like that, but we'll see. Ooh, is this amethyst? Yes, indeed. Well, nice, we can make a staff with that, is something I have learned. Yeah, I'll demonstrate this staff. It's a fireball staff. It's pretty damn cool. Oh my. I jump a lot higher than I should be able to on this minecart. I fling myself. Where did I end up? Nice. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. So we're in these depths again. Fun times in this location. It's a lot of slimes. A lot of ice slimes. And then more tin right there. I'm just gonna mine everything. Everything that is useful to some degree, even if it's bad. I just need something that's better than what I have, which is mostly tin. <laughs> Is that gold? Aye, what is going on down here? <laughs> I can't see a damn thing. Nothing. All right. Why is my health depleting? Is there so- Oh, am I like- Do I have like a water thing going on? Poison. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering what the hell was going on. What is down there that's poisoning me? Or is the whole water poison? <laughs> no. Abigail, can you help me, please? I I don't know what's going on. I'm scared to go down there. Okay, I'm just gonna poison. Oh, there's a trap down there. <laughs> I can't see anything because the fucking water. But okay, I guess I'll go grab my potion of illumination. But yeah, I need to grab my spelunker or not spelunker, the glowing potion, so I can go back down there and break that poison dart. Because I'm pretty sure that was gold that I saw. Okay, shine potion, I'll take you with me. These damn vines everywhere make it so hard to see. So we're going back this way. And we'll just take the railway down until we get there. Just check the map every so often. <laughs> Look at me zooming. I am just blazing through this mineshaft. And this is my stop. So now let's take a shine and the danger sense. Gold coin, there you are, you little bastard. Now you're my dart trap. I could definitely put that up on the entrances to uh, take care of slimes and zombies. Give me some extra gold and all that. And it's good that it's lasting for 10 minutes. Oh, it's only iron down here. Well, that was pointless. And there's another ghost. Hello. <laughs> Probably one of the easiest enemies I've had to deal with so far. Ooh, what are you? I'll go straight for that. That's a different looking ore. Anything different, I will explore. Looks very special, I'll tell you that much. For all I know, could be like magma rock or something. <laughs> okay, so we found some tungsten. That's good. Just gonna look around on the top first. Make sure, ooh, okay. <laughs> we are finding some crazy shit right now. Could be like ruby or something. Ruby to cherry. We'll go for this one first since it's more easily accessible. Um, oh, it's glowing cobweb. What? That is a little confusing. I thought it was gonna be something cool. Maybe it's just a signification of where you're at. It's like a little marker on your map. That's a lot of slimes coming after me. Abigail, we need to do some work here. Okay, well, I can't shoot through walls with that. Okay, yeah, we definitely are in the right area now. Okay, what the hell is this? Are you serious? That damn boulder rolled a literal centimeter. Barely an inch. Barely an inch, and I immediately die. Okay then, buddy. So why are these things glowing red then? I, that's a serious question. Why are they glowing red if there's no significance in it? Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town? Come on, dearie. We're going for a fallen star hunt tonight. I'm also trying to find help. Heart crystals, which is what I was kind of thinking those red glowing things were, but that is not the case. Ow, asshole came out of nowhere. <laughs> Come on, you bastard. There you go. 
It's, oh, hey, a gnome. Do you attack me? Yes, you do. I thought they would be friendly, but I guess not. Here we are. We are freaking getting some gold, and that is a shit ton of gold. <laughs> Perfect. This is exactly what we needed. Well, well, well. We went the right way. I'm glad. What is this? How big is this pocket? Holy shit. This is the crap ton of granite. <laughs> that is a very random find. Okay. So this is the granite biome. Eh? What is this shit even used for? Because it's a whole lot. So I doubt it's really anything useful. You are correct. So they're giving me this much of it. I doubt there's much to make that is actually good. We'll see about that. Is that a demon altar? Or is that a different altar? We found it. But yeah, we finally found this shit. It was either the demon altar or this, this freaking summoning thing. Either or. And we found ourselves some boots. So now we're fast as fuck, boy. Well, shit, I think we can also make that golden pickaxe. Pretty certain we have quite enough. I just wanted to see what other shit we can find. And I am not disappointed. We are left with some glorious shit. And we also have that other shack on the other side to check out. That I saw earlier. Plenty of things to explore today. Hey. <gasps> is that the goblin dude I've been looking for? Please tell me it is. Well, you know what? We'll take the statue. And then we'll head out of here. I have seen a lot of creatures pass by that don't look very savory to my health. I'm going to head back to the surface because I have way too much stuff in my inventory. So we're going to come back here. Oh. Already a fallen st- Oh, two. Nice. So we're nearing our limit on mana stars, which is cool. How in the living hell did you spawn on my damn roof? <laughs> that is not supposed to happen. So I guess we're just going to place some torches between these statues. So I think it's the gaps that are making them spawn. Now it's got some nice lighting as well. I'm just going to pretty much do some last finishing touches on my character and everything else. Well, because the thing I was also told is that fighting the Eye of Cthulhu is a dumb idea right now. <laughs> Mainly because I don't have a lot of health. What we are going to do right now, we are going to go through everything that we have in regards to our loot and see exactly what we can make and now we can make the wand of frosting that's what i was trying to make i just wanted all of the extra um, uh, bonus effects that were on this wand of sparkling specifically because this was the old one that i made first and let's do a side by side comparison so we have 15 damage 15 damage 19 percent critical strike to 14 percent average speed average speed no knockback no knockback uses the same amount of mana those are the same, but this one has an additional 5% critical chance. Now the true test. Can we make a golden pickaxe? What we need is the pick, specifically for the mining power, since obviously 35 is pretty, pretty weak. Well, we might as well make the better stuff too, like the sword, make some tungsten armor. Might as well make the better base tools. Okay, now we got pretty much the best is what we can do for what we can do right now. Nope, oh, dodge your ass there. We Oh my god, that is a lot of man fallen stars. We just picked up seven of these bastards. Oh my lord. Uh, so yeah, I mean, shit. Now literally we have, we literally have the basic necessities for fighting the Eye of Cthulhu, which is basically just good equipment. <laughs> And like, you know, range stuff. Um, also, and a companion to also just shred at him, which is very nice. Because she does a lot of good, like, tick damage. And does it very fast, too. Um, so, next stream, all we need to do is look for some heart crystals. Uh, so we can make, or heart shards, or whatever they call them. To make more um, health points for us. So, if you enjoyed this video of Terraria, make sure to leave a like and maybe even subscribe. The support would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you'd like to follow my Twitch at Blazing Games or even my Patreon, make sure to go into the link in the description below. And that is about it. So you all have a wonderful day. Peace.